hello guys once again welcome back to my youtube channel in this part of video we are going to send a mail from our free web mail using php with the help of php mailer before going to the code part we need to install php mailer package using composer so first let's go to the web browser and download the composer the link for downloading composer is also given in the description now download the latest version of the composer Here for Windows PC, we can use EXE for installation of the Composer. So click on Run. Click on Next. Next. yes next install i think the composer is installed successfully now let's check whether the composer is installed correctly or not for that let's click on finish and go to terminal Type Composer in Terminal. So as we can see that Composer is installed correctly. And it's the latest version available currently. Next we need to change the default directory to the base directory that is c double dot slash for that let's go back by typing the command cd dot dot again type the command cd double dot to go back now we are in the base directory from here let's change the directory to hd docs if you are planning to add the mailer program in some other directory then note that you should use the same directory to install php mailer where you are putting your mailer code so now install php mailer by typing composer require php mailer slash php mailer After installing PHP Mailer properly, close this terminal and go to SAM HD Docs and check whether it is installed there properly. Here we can see that our PHP mailer package is installed here. Inside that there is an auto load PHP and two other files, which means it is installed properly. Next thing to do is to download the mail.php file which I had given in the description. You can check the link and download mail.php file from Mediafire. So now after downloading, copy this file and paste it into stdocs. Paste the file here. After pasting, double click on the file 
to open it in any text editor. In this file, replace some of the fields with your credentials. If you are not sure about your credentials, then go to postal.io and check your credentials there. For that, let's go to postal.io website. This link also will be available in this description. postal.io client configure in this web page we can see our host address port address ssl tls and every other credentials copy and paste these values to your file Type the content which you want to add in body here. Like this change other fields also like whatever you want. After changing everything let's fill up with our email id and password. Fill the from address and to address here. After finishing the edit, now let's start our SAM server. SAM is working successfully. Now go to web browser and open this page localhost double dot slash slash mail dot php. It will take some time to load. Oops, something went wrong. This is because the body which we added on that file have some error, which is trying to get some token, which is not present in the code. So let's remove the line of code from the body. We successfully changed the body and we are going to reload the site. After reloading, you can see that mail send message, which means the code is successfully executed. Now, let's go to our mailbox, which is genoid.v2000 at gmail.com, which was the two address on that code. So, here you can see that we received the mail and there is a link to reset the password you can set the link to whatever you want in your code while hovering on this link you can see that token which we given on the code and here you can see message is encrypted with tls which has been sent from support at cspsycho.ml 
and it is an important message. If you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And that's all about this video. Hope you guys enjoyed well and see you in the next video.